Welcome listeners to Heart to Heart, and I'm Heart to Art rather, and I'm Charity Gale. I've got a very special guest today, and you've just heard one of her own songs which she composed and produced for her new album, which is called A Piece of Me Missing. And it's a new album that uh, she produced in 2019, and it's her first album as well. Um, And my very special guest today is someone called Ashley Hennessy. Welcome to the studio, Ashley. Thanks so much for having me. My pleasure, and thank you for coming in. Um, Ashley is a local girl. Um, you live in Farnham? Yeah, Farnham. Yeah, and um, you you are what I w- might describe as um, a rising star. Thanks um, so much. <laughs> You've actually had quite a lot of coverage uh, the last year or so, in particular. Uh, and um, so you're a new artist on the scene. And um, you would describe yourself, I think, as a contemporary singer-songwriter. Yeah. And um, I've come across, when I was doing my research, um, quite a lot of information about you. And you've been described as spellbinding. And uh, you, a lot of your songs have deep meaning and are very personal to you, aren't they? Yeah, um, I like to write about just real-life topics, really, and my real experiences. Uh, I just find if you have a problem, it just helps to put it down on paper into a song, really. Yeah. And then sometimes other people can relate and it can help them as well, so it's good all round, really. Yeah, and I've had the pleasure of being able to sort of, like, listen to your album um, before um, you came on my show uh, today, and... And you've got 15 songs on your new album, which is quite a lot of songs, actually. (laughs) Yeah, I've actually finished, it's like, over 60 songs. So I thought, I'd done some research and just thought I'd look into how many songs I can kind of put on an album Mm. that's still a normal amount of songs. So uh, Pink has, like, 15 songs on some of her albums. So I thought, okay, I'll go with 15. (laughs) Yeah, 15 sounds like a good number. (laughs) (laughs) But you've wrote over 60 songs. I didn't know that. (laughs) 
I just find it so easy to write songs now. It's a bit like my life is kind of like in a musical in, in my mind. So whenever yeah. anything happens, good or bad, I yeah. just a, a song will just start writing in my head. I'm like, oh, yeah. no, I've got too many already, so I need to write this one down. <laughs> so uh, that's amazing, actually. So how long have you been writing songs for? How long has it taken you to write those 60 songs? Um, I started writing when I was 10. Um, but my first proper song with an actual like finished structure and everything was when I was 11. So quite a long time. That was Out of My Mind, which is on this first album. So I, I yeah. started writing that when I was 11, but I changed it a bit um, last year just to make it, I don't know, just to like tie up the ends yeah. a bit more, just make it all fit nicely. Yeah. When you said Out of Your Mind, um, was that the song Out of Your Mind or was the song actually called Out of Your Mind? Uh, it's called Out of My Mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very young age as well. So you you found you had a talent for singing and a, and a passion for music and, and writing things when you were that age. That's very young. Uh, um, my dad taught me a few chords on guitar when I was seven and I just kind of taught myself after that, really. Right, um, OK. So um, that's when you started learning yeah. to play the... It's the acoustic guitar, isn't yeah. it, that you play? And yeah. one, once you know, like, a few... Once you know a few chords, you yeah. can play lots of different songs, so... It yeah. gets quite easy to just develop your own patterns and styles that you like playing with, really. And I yeah. just write like that. Yeah, when I was about 11, my religious education teacher um, gave us classes during the lunch break to, to, to teach us how to play acoustic guitar. Oh, and that's really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I got as far as learning a Puffy Magic Dragon and Where Have All the Flowers Gone? And that's, oh, about, cool. my, that's, that's about all I can play on the acoustic guitar now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's fantastic. Tell me about your creative process. How does that work? You said, do the words just come to you? Or? Um, I write songs a bit weirdly compared to other songwriters so people that I spoke to that write songs it's very common to like write the hook or chorus first but I I usually write in like the order that you hear it in so I'll mm -hmm. write the first verse and then the chorus then the second verse and the chorus and the bridge so you you write song based on your own personal experiences and how yeah, you feel definitely like a form of expression a like. form of expression so things that are important to you and things that you are passionate about and um based on your own sort of personal experiences so they're deeply meaningful for that reason aren't they every yeah. single song that you've composed i've listened to um all of them and they're all amazing the, the lyrics are Thanks fantastic so yeah and and they've all got messages haven't they all these yeah, songs yeah they all kind of tell a story so the song that i played um at the beginning of the show uh, listeners was called ryan's song Tell us a bit about Ryan's song, Ashley. Um, I wrote that for my friend Ryan, who um, really sadly took his own life last year. Okay. Um, last April, mm. he struggled with like depression and mental mm. health, and he just mm. he just didn't really have the right help. Um, to the point where he felt like he needed to take his own life, and it's just horrible, really. Yeah, but yeah. I thought I just thought I'd write a song about it. Yeah. Um, just to help me come to terms with it a bit. But it's also, the song is just saying, like, you know, I'm so thankful you're in my life. Yes. So it's like, yeah. just, just think about the positive times, really. Yeah, beautiful lyrics. Thank and you. I'm sure if there's an afterlife, he's been listening in and he fully <laughs> approves. He really liked my music, so it means a lot to me that I've actually got it out somewhere because I hadn't, I hadn't like, recorded or even done any gigs when I knew, when mm -hmm. I, um, mm -hmm. like, hung out, when I hung out with him. Um, I was right at the start of my, like, getting my music out there, really. So his favourite song of mine was Lollipops, which is on my album. So it's really nice to have that out. <laughs> Fantastic. Maybe that's a song. I don't know. Could you perform that? Because yeah. I know you're going to, you you wanted yeah, to perform to. live today, didn't you? Yeah. With yeah, your acoustic guitar. guitar. So this is fantastic. Listen, first guest I've had who wanted to, to perform <laughs> live. So I, I, I would love you to play that. That would be fantastic. I'm sure Ryan would too. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go, we're going to okay. play lollipops. Running through a field of lollipops I don't plan on going back just yet I don't see a reason to stop It's not like I'm dead And if I was, would you even care? I climb these trees of candy cane It appears that I have two eyes but no brain I can see you quite clearly as you take over my life But I just sit back and watch as it happens For you I seem to have such a sweet tooth Are you tired of chocolate hearts or is your happy 
appetite's still young Do you love gummy bears or are you a big Shout out to him for a bit Our lights are love sweet But your love is sour Such a bad fight Should have trusted my instincts But instead I left you In only to be crushed Like disposable porcelain Dolls Darling Running through a field of lollipops I got lost now I can't find my way back All I want now is to snore was amazing thank you i've got goosebumps now <laughs> <laughs> what was that song about because i picked up on quite a few of the lyrics but uh, and i like gummy bears by the way <laughs> but uh, was it a love song as well um it's a song about addiction so oh, that addiction. can be addiction to any kind of bad relationship that can be with a oh, person okay. or it can be like um with like food because um yeah. i'm actually recovered from an eating disorder so oh, okay. i wrote a song when i was 18 and i was yeah. i think most 18 year olds struggle with body image to be honest yeah. and it's just yeah. about it's like the song's about find like finding something you like like i had a sweet tooth like i was addicted to the sugar almost yeah. um and it's just like it slowly spirals out of control and then eventually it's like hey i want to stop but i don't know how to stop so yeah. that I thought, yeah, it's good. There's lots of like little metaphors in that song. It's a yeah. nice little. I quite like it. Yeah, and and one of Ryan's favourites. <laughs> <laughs> You've been uh, nominated last year, November eighteen, uh, for the Graham Bell Music Awards.